What's up everybody, Chadley here, back with another Borderlands 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the news that was released just under a week ago about the Malawan takedown. Now before you click away or go down in the comments and tell me that this news is old, I know. The main reason why I want to talk about this today is just because I believe this DLC is going to get me reinterested in this game. Now I know I was gone for a little over a week and I'll get into that later in the video after the news section. But last week when I had to go out of town suddenly, I was about to make a video saying why I was really disappointed with Borderlands 3. And I'm glad I actually held off on that video because this news about the new DLC has really excited me. Now the reason why I was going to make a video why I was so disappointed with Borderlands 3 is just because there's barely any endgame. I, I've gotten like so bored of Borderlands 3 already. After leveling characters, there's nothing else to do and there's not even fun ways to level characters. You just go through and play the story. Now, I know that's not much different compared to past Borderlands, but I was hoping they'd change that formula a little bit. And the fact that there was no end game really except for like Proving Grounds and the uh, Circles of Slaughter just really disappointed me. I was hoping for at minimum like three raid bosses to start the game. But now we finally have in our first Invincible coming to Borderlands. And it's not even just like a normal Invincible like they have been in previous Borderlands. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would know I tweeted that Borderlands needs a Destiny style raid system where you go through something that takes like 30 minutes or more. You run through all these encounters, maybe some puzzles, but maybe not on the puzzles, just difficult enemies. And then when you get to the end, you fight an invincible boss. That's why I got so freaking excited for when they announce this because this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Now, I really wish this would have been here at the start when I had to wait over two months for this to come out, but I'm glad it's finally coming. So with this takedown at Malawan Black Site, it is designed to be a four player co-op mission at level 50 and the enemies will scale to that level by default. So to me, that seems like even if you're playing solo, you're going to be playing four player difficulty enemies and that is going to be amazing. That will be a real challenge, especially with the amount of enemies that are supposed to be in this and just the different encounters and finally a raid boss at the end. And if you don't want to take this on solo, because I imagine it's going to be difficult for a lot of people, there is going to be public matchmaking, so don't fret about that. You'll be able to run with a full crew all the time. So it sounds like there's going to be four total encounters with this uh, Malawan takedown. It sounds like there's going to be three boss fights and then the invincible boss at the end. I can't tell for sure if when they say three incredibly tough boss fights, they're including the invincible or not. But either way, we're getting a minimum of three maximum of four so either way i'm excited about that also there were some new enemies they introduced in this takedown as well so that'll be exciting to face new and challenging enemies but finally after we make our way through all the encounters we're gonna run into wotan the invincible not wu-tang wotan this looks like a giant kind of malawan walker tank thing like i i don't know how to describe it i'll have a picture up during during this part but it also looks like it's got shields on the side, so it looks like you can only take it on from certain angles. I wonder if it's going to be like Hydras from Destiny 2, if you guys are familiar with that. They got rotating shields, and you can only shoot at them when those shields open up. But their description of Wotan is a mechanical behemoth of a boss that fires missile barrages from behind its massive shields. So the fact that this is all getting released to us for free really restores my faith in this game, and I really hope they can keep releasing stuff like this because this is the stuff that makes me want to come back and play Borderlands 3 all the time. Now Gearbox states that these takedowns are supposed to uh, take about 30 to 45 minutes and they say in quotes they're probably a little longer than the Proving Grounds right now but not too long. So right now Proving Grounds actually only take like 10 minutes depends how quick you're trying to go through it but if that's the case and it scales the same we might be able to run through these in like 15, 20 minutes maybe. Now I really want it to actually take the full 30 minutes on the low end and the upper end be 45 minutes, especially if they do something that has like checkpoints, but I don't think they will. I think it will just be straight run through. And if you quit, you got to start back at the beginning, but there's going to be exclusive loot for this takedown. So I really want it to take the full 30 minutes and I want the loot 
to be strong loot, especially if this is like the pinnacle of end game activity for this game. Now I hope they're just keeping this a secret, but I probably have my hopes a little too high, but I would love for them to have like a couple per lessons that they're gonna introduce with each one of these takedowns and they're just gonna be really rare jobs. That way it forces you to keep going through these takedowns. Now, like I said, this DLC is going to be free and it's gonna be around for as long as the game's around. So that is amazing. And it's gonna be coming to us November 21st. So we're only a couple weeks away and I cannot be more excited for this much needed DLC for Borderlands 3. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was gonna talk to you guys why I've kind of been not really uploading that much over the, like, the past month. Um, part of it has been what I was describing with Borderlands 3. I wasn't bit, like super excited to play it all the time. It was getting a little old. There's not much to do. Once you're in the end game, I've already put a bunch of time into the game. So I've kind of run out of things to do and I got tired of killing Grave Ward literally just all the time because that was like the best way to get loot. But just overall, my life over the past month has just been a giant rut and I've been trying really hard to get out of it. And every time I try, it just kind of, I end up like failing for that day and I feel just discouraged to try the next day. So it just kind of compounds and it just keeps adding up and up week after week. But right now I'm finally feeling like I really want to make videos again. So I am very excited for that and thank you guys for uh, sticking with me over this past month. We actually passed over 16,000 subscribers in this time so thank you guys for that and everybody who's new thank you for subscribing and definitely stick around. I will be making videos a lot more now and I'm really excited to make some more content for you guys. Now if you're interested in seeing more than just Borderlands 3 on this channel right now I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2. It's another great looter shooter and I've been having just so much fun with that. So if you guys would maybe want to see Destiny on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. So once again, thank you guys for sticking it out in this past month with me. And I can't be more excited to keep making videos. But that's going to be all for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.